Today in Ask Austin Harley, we're going to be continuing our credit hack series and talk about how you can use secured loans in order to skyrocket your credit for absolutely free. Stay tuned. My name is Austin Harley. I'm a real estate agent and investor to millions of dollars of real estate in the DC metro area. The goal of this channel is to help you with real estate and credit so that you can be the most successful individual you can be. All right, so let's jump right into it. So this is gonna be video number two of the Credit Hack series. We're gonna be talking about how you can use secured loans to your leverage, to your benefit, in order to skyrocket your credit. If you just wanna skip straight to the good stuff, I'm gonna leave a time card in the description box below, as well as a link to all the other videos that I'm gonna be making throughout this series so that you can jump around and see which credit hack is gonna best fit you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and consider subscribing because it's free and all my videos I make are designed to help any and everyone, no matter what financial situation you are, so that you can have a higher credit score, become more knowledgeable, and be more successful than you already are. All right, so straight off the bat, the differences between the two, a credit card is a revolving line of credit, meaning that you can pay, charge something on that credit card, pay it back, and still have the available credit it to go and purchase a installment plan such as a loan or a secure loan a mortgage you've already spent that money up front and therefore you're paying it back and once you do pay it back in full you cannot reuse that loan it's not like a line of credit or a credit card that is revolving forever the difference of these two is very critical you need to understand it because the credit bureaus look at these things whenever you get approved for loans they look at different types of loans that you paid back or loans that you've defaulted on in order to judge your credit and thus increase your score. So another basic term you need to understand for this video is going to be the difference between secured and unsecured. So unsecured credit card means you go out and you apply for a credit card and they just give you a line of credit of let's just say $3,000 and you don't have to put any money down in order to get approved for that. They're not taking any money for you. Secured card is mainly for credit building sake and basically what that means is you're gonna go out and give them $300 and the bank is going to give you $300 of a line of credit on a credit card. The reason they approve you for that is because in case you default on that $300 and don't pay them back, they can easily take the $300 that you already gave them and thus there's no risk to them. Now they still do report out to the credit bureaus on both cases. In most cases, some banks report it out as an unsecured credit card, such as Wells Fargo, so that means it never shows that you had a credit building credit line on your actual credit report. So the way this credit hack works is in the same manner as a secured credit card. You go out and you give them $1,000 for one year, and they're gonna give you $1,000 back in the shape of a loan, and you're gonna pay that back in installments over the course of one year, two years, however many years you book it for. I recommend doing a $1,000 one year secured loan, paying it off in full. So let's talk about why this credit hack actually works. So right off the bat, you all know that you need at least at bare minimum three reporting lines out there. Now each line should be different. You should have one as an installment plan, one as a credit card, and maybe the other as a mortgage or a car loan, anything of that sort. So a secured loan is going to be fantastic for someone that only has a credit card or maybe only has a mortgage and doesn't have an actual unsecured personal loan out there. Because a secured loan is in a sake a personal loan. So the benefit of doing this is paying it off in installments every single month is going to add one more thing to your credit profile that's paid in full after one year consistently active and open and good standings. And once you finish paying that off, it's gonna show as a completion of a personal loan paid off in full and that way when you go back in later in life to apply for an unsecured loan or a car loan of that fact or any type of loan in general they're gonna see hey you know they're looking through his credit profile they're gonna see oh, okay well this guy already paid back his personal loan that he's taken out prior to so we should trust him more rather than someone else that's only had credit cards and never had a personal loan of some sort you're already one step ahead of the game so let's break down all the numbers for this loan so you, you can see how it works and how you can use it to your leverage so the goal is to go to a local credit union, whether it be Navy Federal, their national, or a local credit union. If you're in the DC metro area, Northwest Federal Credit Union is a fantastic place to start. You go to the banker and you say, I want a secured loan. They're gonna look at you like you're nuts, but you're gonna say, I want a secured loan. They're gonna tell you for how much and how long do you wanna finance it for. You tell them 1,000 for one year. There's no need to do two years because you don't want that debt held against you for that long. You can always renew it for another year 
if you want to do that afterwards. So when you're crunching the numbers together, you got a $1,000 one year loan at usually a 3% interest rate. It's going to be something extremely low because there's not that much risk to the bank and basically what you're doing in a nutshell is paying them to report out to the credit bureau. So let's say a one year loan at $1,000 for 3%. Your payment's gonna come out somewhere to around 80 or 90 bucks. Now what you do is you give them the thousand dollars, they usually secure it in type in a some type of a savings account or they will remove it from you. They give you a thousand dollars back, you put it back into the savings account that you have and you set up an automatic payment from that account to pay your loan off at the minimum payment, that's very key, at the minimum payment for that entire year. Now you may have to add like 20 bucks or so for the 3% interest that's gonna be accrued over the course of that one year, but on your loan documents, you're gonna be able to see that up front so you know exactly how much to add. Now the goal of this is it's automated, so you don't really have to touch it. It's just simply gonna be paying it off every single month and reporting out to the credit bureaus and increasing your score. So now let's go over the reality of it. As you all know, I bring the truth to you guys to see if this actually works or not. And I've actually done it on myself and a few other friends have tried it as well. So I can kind of give you some realistic approach to how this works, if it's worth it, or should you do it. So right off the bat, if you're planning on in that year gap applying for any type of mortgage or any type of loan that they have to look at your debt to income ratio to see what your monthly gross income is versus your monthly expenses, I would not recommend applying for this. Now to be honest with you, a car loan doesn't really matter because most of the time they're just gonna get approved for that anyway, unless you really just don't have that much income coming in because the payment's only like $80, it's not really gonna hold too much against your debt to income ratio. So really, I would only exclude doing this uh, credit hack is if you're applying for a mortgage in the next year because you don't want that 80 or $90 lingering against you whenever you go to apply for that mortgage. Now, if you do this, you could always pay it off in full plus the interest. There's no prepayment penalty. You just have to make sure that that's true with whatever creditor you're using for that secured loan. You could always just pay it off in full, wait a month, and then go apply for the loan for the mortgage or whatever you're applying for so that it doesn't show against your debt to income ratio in your credit report. But that's something you want to keep in mind whenever you're doing this credit hack. To be honest with you, it's probably not going to be the case for most of you, but I just want to give you the reality of everything out there just so that you can be more informed. The second pro of this is that it's not going to be uh, a credit inquiry for most, for the most part. So maybe federal, uh, Northwest Federal Credit Union, most of the local credit unions around this area are not gonna charge an inquiry in order to get approved for this loan product. And the reason why is because there's no risk for them. There's no reason to run your credit for you to get approved for say, for this loan because it's not risky. I mean, you give them a thousand, they give you a thousand back, heck, you're paying interest to them for them to literally report it out to the credit bureaus. So there's really no risk to doing this. You can try it out. Um, but that leads to the third thing that I was gonna say. It's not gonna be a drastic improvement on your credit score. If you have literally nothing out there that you're actively using and reporting out to the credit bureaus, this is a fantastic way and it's gonna be used towards your leverage. In my other video that I made on how to go from chapter seven bankruptcy to 700 plus credit score in less than one year, this is a fantastic way or tool credit hack to use because you have no, after your credit uh, bankruptcy discharge, you have nothing out there reporting out to the credit bureau. So this is a fantastic way to get something out there for one year reporting out to the credit bureaus so you can build some positive um, credit history. But if you already have like say five credit cards and you already have two car loans, this really isn't gonna be doing that much to your credit, but it will be another active line that's reporting out there. And the, the really the goal and where the magic comes in is it builds strength in your credit history because once you have this all paid off in full, it shows that you have that personal loan paid off in full and when you go to apply for another uh, let's say mortgage or let's say uh, unsecured loan this time, they're gonna be more likely to approve you because you already have this on your credit profile is fully paid off. So that was a lot of information. To recap really quick, it does not have an inquiry for the most part. Depending on what bank you go to, you need to double check that with your bank and verify does this run a hard inquiry on my credit profile in order to get approved? So it doesn't have a 
inquiry in order to get approved for this product. The second thing is you don't want to be applying for this if you have plans to apply for a mortgage in the near future unless you're very responsible and you can use that money that you set aside in order to pay it off in full before you go apply for the mortgage. And the third thing being it's not going to be a drastic improvement on your credit score unless you really don't have much reporting out to the credit bureaus right now. The easiest way to know that is to go into the description of this video and check either my FICO credit wise or credit karma which are all free products except for my FICO I think they're charges like $20 a month so that you can check your credit profile and see what's actively reporting out to the credit bureaus. Lastly, the biggest pro that I can give you for this type of credit hack is that it's completely free and it's very simple to do. You could probably even call the bank and get approved for this type of loan on the spot. It's really not difficult to get approved for and it does boost up your credit, especially if you have other delinquent items out there that you're not paying on. You want to always have more active and good standing items reporting out to the credit bureaus than negative and delinquent items reporting out to the credit bureaus. They all report out monthly, remember that. Every single creditor is doing the same thing. They're reporting out to the credit bureaus every single month. So it's really a matter of the good active reporting out to the credit bureaus versus the delinquent items, the bad stuff reporting out to the credit bureaus. You want it to outweigh that and really you don't want to have any delinquent items because that's not good at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So give it a thumbs up if I taught you something new. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below, hashtagging Ask Austin Harley, and I'll make sure to get to your comment, your question, as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, go ahead and consider subscribing because it's free, and all my videos I make are designed to help any and everyone, no matter what financial situation you are, so that you can have a higher credit score, become more knowledgeable, and be more successful than you already are. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.